Hello YouTube, Silver Tabby Gaming here, and for today's episode, I am actually going to reset my missions and give a visual, hopefully fairly detailed guide on how to complete the missions. Now, I haven't fully completed all the missions. The duck missions give me a pretty hard time. This grizzly bear mission is very hard because blonde grizzlies are very rare. Dark gray wolves aren't super rare, but their hearts are very small. Uh, fleeing bobcat, I just have not fully attempted this one. Finding a Rusa that scores over 120 it has been very difficult for me. I spent quite a few hours hunting for Rusas, resetting the game and retrying. Didn't pan out too well for me. Eurasian lynxes are very hard to find, and I'm going to say <clears throat> without having a dog to track them, they're near impossible to actually hunt effectively. Not to say they can't be, but just for me, I will say I'll need a dog before I can effectively hunt Eurasian lynx. The Snow Goose mission I could do, but due to issues with my computer, it lags out when a large group of snow geese come in. So I'm not able to actually hit them with a compound bow. This mission I have tried to complete, but it seems to be bugged. So if anyone has had success with the two deer one stone mission let me know and I will try it in another way when we get to that point of doing the shotgun missions Puma missions I just have not completed timber gold trails I have partially completed but I did restart the mission so it reset and the axis deer is another one that I just have not completed but it does not look hard just like the Timber Gold Trails is not hard. So I'm going into the store and resetting my missions. And as soon as it resets, we will start hunting uh, Whitetail. <clears throat> I plan on working my way down the list. However, I may skip over some of the bird missions such as the waterfowl and the geese. I will eventually try to do the waterfowl and the geese, but I would like to get more decoys. I have very few decoys. I have like four on each map. Except for Rougarou Bayou, where I have four for each bird. But I will bring you back as soon as the missions reset, and we will get hunting for whitetail deer. Okay, so the white, the missions have officially reset, and I'm going to activate the first three whitetail missions. With the whitetail missions, you can activate all three starting missions at the same time. Track a whitetail deer, locate three whitetail tracks from the same animal, spot a whitetail deer, and harvest a whitetail deer. These are very, very simple, and once I launch up the game, I will bring you back. I believe I will start off on Whiteheart Island. Now, I'm going to start out at the South Cliff Lodge. I have the best luck here farming whitetails. So I will bring you back once we actually have the game launched and actually have something to show you. Okay, so the game has loaded a Whiteheart Island. Today I'm carrying the 270, the Snakebite Compound, 
and the 22 handgun in case we run into any good turkeys. Now, for the most part on White Heart Island, I normally travel up from this lodge and go up toward this lake up here. I make my way slowly up there. And I normally run into quite a few white-tailed deer. Now, for this mission, I have to track, spot, and I also... Let me check the missions again. Track, spot, and harvest. So, assuming that I'm able to spot a whitetail first, I can spot it, harvest it, then find the three tracks, and complete all three missions in one set. Now, the good thing with this game setup is I don't have to restart the whole mission set to actually I don't have to restart the whole map to activate a new mission. I can just minimize this game, the game. Oh, and we have our first white tail call. It is a dove, but it still counts because this specific mission does not specify that it has to be a buck. So let me pull up my dopely caller. The doe bleak and the buck grunt have the same attractiveness effect. So when you start off on a free account, like I did, you will be given a doe bleat. You can buy a buck grunt if you choose to, but I haven't. Eventually I would like to, just because... That sound can actually get quite annoying if you're sitting up in a tree stand or in a tower stand. And the butt grunts a lot quicker call. But it doesn't make a difference which one you have. The doe was over near the market near the tower stand. These tower stands automatically spawn on the map. They are free to use. And for a lot of missions, they will count unless it specifically says ground line, tree stand, or tripod. And as we go through these missions, I do plan on telling you which ones I think are worth actually 100%ing. White tails are definitely worth presenting. They're easy to hunt. They're fairly common to find. But as we go on some missions, they take more work to 100% complete than they're worth as far as their GM value. But I will try to complete them all or for the most part complete them. Missions, for example, like the grizzly bear mission I showed you earlier, isn't even beneficial for me. I spent three days hunting, at least three days hunting grizzlies, resetting the map, hunting the areas that they spawn quite common, and I found one female blonde grizzly in those three days, and it has to be specifically a male. So, it, it's not beneficial for me to show you how to do it whenever using that particular gun. Grizzly bears drop fairly quickly, even with a body shot. Now, if I was to be able to show you, I definitely would. But some missions I will not be able to fully complete, but I can show you how to complete them. This is primarily focusing on color variations on the handful of missions that require specific color variations. Now let's see if we can't get eyes on this here doe. 
and we'll spot her, shoot her, and then we will get her tracks before we harvest her. Whitetails don't come in super fast, but they're also not super slow at coming in to a call. And with it being a doe, she's not going to spook very easily. There she is, and I just spotted her. Now, the higher your spotting skill, the quicker you will spot. So if you're just starting out on the game, it may take a few minutes or a few seconds before you're able to actually fully spot her. But it's still worth the spot. Now, with the setup of these missions, all three have to be completed before the next mission set will activate. So, let's see if we're able to pull her into us. And I might try to take her out with a bow just in case I'm able to get another deer to come in to complete the next set of missions. And she's coming in slowly but surely. Now, I do have a rangefinder, so I will see about how far she is as soon as she steps out from behind the trees. Alright, she's within range of the snake bite. So, let's see if we're able to get her down with one shot. There we go. Now, if I was to go ahead and pick her up, I would complete two of the three, you have to complete two of the three missions, but I'm going to pass over her for now. And grab her tracks. You have to have a full set of three. When you pick up tracks, to level up your tracking, you'll want to have all three of the dots filled. Three dots is the is the maximum extra XP you can get for collecting tracks. Now for this mission, I don't know if this track will complete it or whether I need to find one more of the ground tracks. So let's see. Alright, I haven't gotten any notification yet, so I'm assuming that I need to find one more ground track, one more footprint to complete this here particular mission. Oh, nope. I just got a notification. I will double check real fast to make sure it actually fully completed. And I just have to harvest. Yes, you just have to harvest. So, if you are on this mission and you get the call from the deer you are trying to harvest, it will count towards your reset track. So let's pick her up and I will activate the next mission set. For most animals, you do not have a set of three you have to complete. You might have three objectives within the same mission, but not three individual missions that you have to complete to activate the next one. Just in general. That isn't for every mission, but I think the white tail is the only one that really takes advantage of that. Okay. Definitely not going to taxidermize and call it female. Alright. So, the next mission in the mission pack for the white tail is to harvest a eight point typical buck. There are non-typicals in the Hunter Classic. If you're new to the Hunter Classic, this might be news to you. But this isn't a super hard objective due to the fact that most bucks are eight point. Not all of them, but getting an eight by eight, so an 
8.2 with a, a deer with 8 points on both sides is a lot more uncommon so it'd make a 16 point or a 14 point so having 17 point, 7 points on both sides is a lot rarer so I'll bring you back if I find a 8 point buck or if I happen to run across a coyote or a Roosevelt elk that's actually worth showing in the video. And that doe is not going to cover what we need it to. So I'll still bring you back. Okay, so after a little while of tracking, I just got the first call from a buck. I've seen a few does. And I was on the track of a pretty heavy weight buck. But I just got a call from another buck. I haven't seen it yet. Give a call to him. He's fairly close, and I should be able to see him fairly soon, depending on what I what his size is depends on whether I'll try to take him with the bow or whether I choose to use the two set. I am in basic game uh, camo. Um, all the new account camo has the same effectiveness no matter what you where you are just depends on whether you end up getting knocked out by temperature so if you're a new player and you don't have any purchase camo you can still easily complete the missions the camo is not required it just makes things a little bit easier I would think Considering that it makes it where your camo is more effective. But we're going to see if we're able to get him in and at least get eyes on him. Even if he's not a 8 point buck, we'll at least have a buck under our belt before we continue on. Alright, footsteps. Okay, there he is. He's definitely not an 8 point, but let's try to get him down and see if we can't get that other buck in as well. This other book that just called is a 80 to 100 kg buck track. Now, bucks, the white tails do not necessarily, big buck tracks do not necessarily mean big bucks. But it is nice to get the heavier weight ones. Or follow the heavier weight ones because they do tend to have a higher chance of being him being larger rack bucks. We'll keep scanning for him and hopefully we'll get eyes on him soon. That's him. Might take him out with the 270 if we can get a shot in on him because he looks like he'd be a eight point. Oh, bad shot. But it should still hopefully take him down. It looked like a good shot when I initially took it. 
But we'll see if we can't track him down. We'll pick up this little book first. Just in case he had some hidden times that I didn't see on the initial shot. Nope. I don't. He's only a six point. Now, one thing you can do to level up your tracking is pick up the tracks from that specific buck. But it's hard to sometimes get the initial blood splatter if you're not far enough away. So let's see if we're able to find this here blood track and see where we initially hit him. A body shot will take him down, but it'll be a short little track. He did look like he would complete the mission and turn out to be the eight point that we need. But he very well could not be, and I could be mistaken with his rack size. He was a good little piece away. Now right, here's our blood splatter. It's a body shot, so I'll see if I can't track him down and bring you guys back when we find him. Okay, so we just found our buck. He wasn't too awfully far from where we shot him. But we'll pick him up. He looks to be an 8 point. So he should register for this particular mission. Doesn't show where we actually hit him, just his body. Uh, I'd imagine I must have hit him in the neck and just didn't have the penetration to hit a lung. And that is that mission complete. So let's see what the next mission is. I'll at least try to finish this next mission, hopefully, before we start, before I end this episode. Alright, so a 10 point. Now, I think for this, I may very well switch the maps and see if I have any better luck on one of them. Once I see whether this here track that I picked up earlier is a buck or doe. I think it'll be a doe based on the weight, but it could be a small buck. It is a small buck. Uh, I think I'm still going to go ahead and switch maps. So I'll bring you back when I get loaded into River Bayou. And actually have eyes on a decent buck that should complete this here mission. Okay, so it's been a little while since I um, last spoke. We finally have a white tail book. I spent about an hour on Rougarou and didn't have any luck, so I came over here to Loggers Point, where you can typically find more white tail. However, Rougarou has a lot of white tail just scattered around in the swamps, making them hard to find. But I have a white tail that should be coming over this here ridge. Hopefully he's big enough to complete this particular mission, but we shall see. If not, I'll probably still wrap up the episode here because this is a fairly long episode. I don't think he will quite make it. Sometimes they do have little hidden points, but he does not look... He may make it. We'll see. I want to hit, give him the opportunity of wandering off. So we'll drop him right where he stands. have 
just made it. And he did. He was a small 10 point. And he made it to the 10 point mark to complete up this particular mission. Our next mission, which we will start in the next episode. Let's see, we'll have us hunting whitetail. I uh, harvest what, two whitetail bucks that weigh at least 68 kilograms or 150 pounds. That one isn't as hard as it would seem. That weight class is fairly common. But I will see you in the next episode where we start that particular mission. And I hope this episode helped you. And to give you an idea, this buck was right here where I'm at right now. I was heading up toward this stand. This stand's normally pretty good for whitetails. Okay, so I will see you next time. Bye.